In this chapter we will have logon skin shader. As first step you have to prepare basic scene with free point neutral lighting as I explained already in free point lighting chapter. After that apply standard RS material with skin color tone and low reflection contribution as you can see in render view now. All these steps will help to prepare scene for better skin shader workflow. Skin shader you will find under material section. After applying skin shader on object, you can expect weird looking result. Skin shader using subsurface scattering workflow. All details about single scattering, multi scattering or SSS shader I explained already. And skin shader using the same parameters and workflow. Only difference is that skin shader was developed primarily for rendering human skin. Exactly as for other SSS materials, for skin material is also important to have object in real world scale. This human head has in Y axis around 30 cm, so be sure that your object using real world scale as well. And because our object is relative small, I have to decrease radius scale multiplier. In render view you can see now that the result looks much more realistic now. Next parameter is overall scale. Overall scale allows you to adjust the overall brightness for all scattering layers. Next parameter is diffuse amount. Diffuse amount controls how much of SSS effect you get. Increasing diffuse amount values lowering SSS effect. Use default normalized diffuse weight option for physically correct result. Skin shader, similar like SSS shader, offering point base and ray trace mode. Point based legacy mode is older type, which works faster but less accurate. New point based mode produces very good and clean result. Ray trace mode is the most accurate, but for clean result needs many samples. Skin shader contains also single scattering section, so if you need, you can use single scattering as well. But in my case, I'm not using single scattering for human skin. The most important section is multi-layer scattering section contains shallow, mid and deep scatter. Shallow scatter defines the pigment tone of the skin. Keep shallow layer radius values very low, usually default values works very well. Mid scatter defines the dermis layer. Again, mid layer radius default values works very well and should be in range between shallow and deep radius. Deep scatter defines thick layer. If you would like to have more visible SSS effect, increase deep layer radius. For realistic looking skin is also important reflection section. I can use primary and secondary reflection as well. Skin shader using glossiness workflow. IOR for skin is around 1.44, and its default value as well. If you would like to see skin glossiness more visible, increase primary reflection weight or increase glossiness instead. But definitely don't increase both too much because as you can see in render view, easily you can get unrealistic looking result. So try to find balance between primary reflection weight and glossiness. Use similar technique as I am showing now. You can also use very low weight values for secondary reflection if you need little bit more visible glossiness. As next step I will show you backlight technique, which I am using when I am working with SSS layers. Turn off all lights which contributing on object lighting. In render view you will see silhouette. As next step create one backlight. For backlighting I am usually using ARA light. Light is straight behind the object. Use values which will not produce big hot spots. Try to achieve similar result as you can see in render view now. This setup will help you to see correctly amount of SSS effect. Very often art is using too much of SSS radius just to have more visible SSS effect. But it produces less realistic results. In reality you can see clearly strong SSS effect on human skin only in condition what I am simulating right now. 
As you can see in render view, progressive rendering produced too much grain. So as next step, I will switch from ray trace mode to point base mode. And I will switch from progressive rendering to bucket rendering because I need to see clean result. Now I can clearly see how works SSS layers. The strongest contribution has deep layer. So if I will decrease his weight, as you can see, I'm lowering SSS effect and it's not exactly what I want. So keep the layer with weight values around 0.8 or higher. And control SSS intensity with deep radius. Currently, I have too strong SSS effect, so I will decrease deep radius for more realistic result. As next step, I will use dome light. But I will lower exposure for his lower contribution. It's just test how it works together. For better result, it's important to have GI contribution. And for final render, I'm using high quality SSS settings. I'm using also sharpen filter for more visible skin details. Backlight test works, so it's time to go back to original lighting setup. And as you can see, immediately I'm getting different but physically correct result. If your dome light produce flat lighting, you can use extra light which will help you with light breakup. Usually I'm using small area light in key light position. If you don't know how works key light, please check out free point lighting chapter. Also, I will share C4D scene with you, but of course, without turbo squid model. The most important for realistic looking skin is texture. With how correct texture, which have to contains all important details, you will be not able to have good result. I will connect texture into the shallow color now. As you can see, I'm getting totally different result now. And I still cannot see texture details. I will switch back to progressive rendering for faster response now. As first step, I have to be sure that I'm using full shallow scatter contribution if I would like to see texture details correctly. As second step, I have to strongly decrease mid scatter and deep scatter color contribution because these constant colors are reason why I cannot see correctly diffuse texture. And now as you can see, I'm getting much better result. But here is the problem. If I am using low of mid and deep scatter contribution, my setup is not working anymore like I prepared it in the backlight test. On other side, if I will use correct weight values for mid and deep scatter, I can't see correctly my texture anymore. So I will decrease deep scatter weight again and I will switch to bucket rendering to show you how looks current result. It definitely looks much better than before, but we are using incorrect mid and deep scatter weight. I will show you now my technique, which I am using to handle layers color weight problems. As first step, I need color correct node. And I need more space in shader graph. I will connect diffuse texture into the color correct node. In render view, you can see now how looks direct output from color correct node. My goal is replace color of mid scatter layer with texture. Mid layer has yellowish color, so I will shift texture hue to get more yellowish look. After that, I will increase saturation and level scale as well. After that, I will connect color correct node into the mid color. As next step, I will use another color correct node and I will use the same workflow for deep scatter layer. Here is how looks direct output from second color correct node. This time I would like to have reddish and more saturated result. So again, I will change hue shift to get more reddish look and I will increase saturation and level scale as well. And here is comparison how looks texture for shallow layer. Now for mid layer. And now for deep layer. I will connect reddish texture into the deep color. And I will connect skin material into the surface output. In render view you can see now how looks current result. Finally we are getting more accurate result than before. And also I can increase mid scatter and deep scatter weight now 
for more realistic SSS effect. In render view you can see progress and how is improving result when all layers work correctly. For comparison I will show you now how looks result without mid color texture. Here is how look result without mid color and deep color texture. Here is how look result without the deep color texture. And now again all textures together. If you need stronger or more colorful SSS effect, don't increase radius or other SSS parameters. Because you did test already which proved that all parameters works correctly. But change color intensity or color saturation in color correct node instead.